the San Francisco Giants hosting the Oakland A's, and the Giants are minus 250 on the money line. The A's are plus 210. The over-under is seven runs. The A's getting a run and a half are minus 105, meaning if you bet them that way and they lose by one, you win, or if they win the game outright, you win. The Giants laying a run and a half are minus 115, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two runs. Jeffries didn't pitch against San Francisco last year, and Radon did not pitch against Oakland last year, even though he was a member of the White Sox. Now, the A's are on a one-game winning streak. The Giants are on a three-game winning streak. Head-to-head, -head, San Francisco is on a two-game winning streak against the A's. These teams are 5-5 five and five against each other in their past 10. The team getting a run and a half is 6-4, and four, and the over is 5-5. Five and five. Now, looking at these pitchers' ERAs, you can understand why I'm going to go the way that I am. I'm going to take San Francisco with the money line, Oakland with the runs, and I am going to go under the seven runs. This is a Bay Area matchup. Let's see if I'm right. Let's see if I'm wrong. I know that these fans hate each other, and these fan bases hate each other even though it's interleague.